guys, Firestar here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be showing you how to install Minecraft maps on a Mac in a very simplified way, because I know with the new update, I don't know about other people, but I know that I've had so much trouble trying to figure out how to download and install a map, and when I got it, I, ha I had to resist your to jump out of my seat. So if we go look in the top left corner where uh, it shows the apple on the toolbar, you'll see it says um, click that and then see about this Mac. And this is for version OS X Yosemite 10.10.2. Uh, so if you don't have that version, then uh, update it. If you do, well, you're in the right place. You don't need to do anything. So before anything, click Go to your uh, Minecraft game, and, okay, launcher, any day now, once this loads, so then, oh yes, so and you're met with the usual Minecraft launcher and whatnot, so then, before you do anything, this is the first step, oh yeah, and the reason I'm using, um, this is my, the name is, uh, it's, I'm using my friend's account. Long story about that one. So just, uh, click play, and if you don't, and up, and, uh, update to the latest version, or downgrade to the version you want your map on, and then you just need to wait for it to load. And then, yep, usual Minecraft starting single player. Um, this is a uh, map I downloaded earlier as a test before this video. So what you want to do is create new worlds. You can name it anything, name it new worlds, or do what I'm doing right now if you want. And then you just need to not get, when we go into saves later, you just need to not get confused. So I'm going to keep it at new world. It's saved as new world with two dashes. So game mode and more world options, none of this will matter in the long run. So just click create new world. Wait for it to load. And yep, normal Minecraft world. So that was step one. Now when you're done, save and quit the title. Quit Minecraft. And then open up Safari, use Google or whatever internet you use. And if you have a certain map in mind, that's fine. If you already if you're already at the link, then just bear with me here. But um, if you don't have one in mind, then you can just type into Google Minecraft Maps, and then you'll get a lot of choices, um, a lot of different websites to download from. I don't know if all of them are safe. Um, so, so the ones that, the one that I'm using, Minecraft Maps, it's safe and I've downloaded it before, but if you're, you, I've downloaded from them before, but if you're using a site that I'm not covering here, then, uh, just be careful. Minecraft Download is also safe. I haven't used it myself, but, um, a friend of, my cousin has, and he, and his hasn't run into any problems. I've used Planet Minecraft, that's safe. Um... Minecraft Wiki, this isn't a website to download, this is just telling you what a map is. Uh, Curse.com is safe, and Minecraft Forum is safe. I'm not sure about Minecraft World Map, but if you want to try it, go ahead, but I'm not going to be responsible for that one. So I'll click Adventure Maps, and because that's what I like. And then there are a bunch of different maps to download, and I want to download... Awaken. So it gives you a little description and and um, like credits and stuff and version. This is version 1.8. If you're using any version above like that, more above 1.8, then it won't work. It might not work. But and if you're using like 1.7.10 or anything under 1.8, then that's not. I don't think that's working either. So, um, I just need to click download. It will bring me to, um, in this case it brings me to Mediafire. Yes, that's a safe, uh, website. So you don't have to worry about that. 
Um, I've been taken to Dropbox in the past, it's also safe, and on the Curse website, it just downloads it straight away. I've all, and, um, yeah. I've also been taken to adfly.com, that's more, um, downloading mods, so not maps. So, um, that's, well, that would be covered in a different video. So, I just click download here, and then it's showing up in the bottom right-hand corner, where I have my downloads so then this is just if it's not downloading we click it again and it will download it but it's fine so X out of this once this um, once this uh, finishes downloading see it says awaken adventure map take it and drag it and drop it on your desktop see it's right here awaken adventure map and then open up minecraft Wait for it to load again. And then we are go down to the bottom left-hand corner where it says profile and your username and click edit profile. You'll be met with this, re this really annoying box. Don't change anything. Go to the bottom right-hand corner where it says open game directory right here I'm circling around it click that and then you'll be met with your uh, minecraft folder everything from like textures and mods and stuff are here go into the folder that says saves right here um, click that these are all of my worlds that I have but this is the world see new world with two dashes this is the one we made earlier click on that and you'll be met with all of this stuff. Do not <laughs> click any of this stuff. Now go into the folder you dropped onto your desktop, um, which is, in my case, it's Awaken Adventure Map. Click that, and then uh, sometimes you'll be met with a resource pack. Sometimes you'll need that for your map, but um, Awaken Map 1.8, and then you'll be met with all of this annoying stuff. Um, not getting into all of like the dot dat and stuff because that's really technical and it would take a while for me to explain it so click copy and then click paste right click and click paste it says paste 14 items so then you'll be met with this that says a newer folder named data already exists in this location do you want to merge or replace it with the older one you're copying and then it explains merge will combine the two folders, preserving all the newer items such as scoreboard.dat. And then don't you don't want to merge it, you don't want to stop. Click apply to all because if you don't do that, this will you will um, have to deal with this box the whole time. And then click replace. And then see now you have it replaced. And all of this stuff is the stuff that you got from the folder. So X out of that, X out of the profile. And then click play. And then also X out of the folder that your map was in. Okay, normal Minecraft screen, nothing new here. Click single player. And see Awaken. I forgot to change my game mode. In this case, I don't really think it's going to make that much of a difference. Because 1.8, 1.8.1, 1 there really isn't any difference. So, if you did everything right, your map should be in place. This, in the beginning when we made it, it was New World da uh, 2 Dashes, but now it changed to Awaken. So click that, um, and just click it. Just play like a normal world, because, uh, like, the game mode and cheats on and off, all of that will be sorted out with the map. So click, and if you did everything right, see? Uh, I'm in the map, and these are just the directions. Um, I'm not going to be playing through this map in this episode because that's a whole different episode or series. So, yeah. Um, if you did everything correctly, then you're good. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you... If you have, if you want, um... If you want, if you have any future suggestions for me, then comment, PM me, email, it will all be in the description. So, yeah. 
again, I did not change from 1.8.1 to 1.8, even because on the website I use, it said specifically 1.8. Uh, but in this case, it doesn't make a difference, but you might want to be careful with that, so just check and do everything like that. So, yeah. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like, uh, give me ideas for future episodes, videos that you want me to do, and I'll see you in the next video. Dosvidaniya!